Hello, this is Blaine Gray from Plaster and Beginners and today we're going to talk about the Ox Ultraflex. I'm going to give it a full review, compare it to other trowels and see how good this actually is. Hello, Blaine Gray from Plaster and Beginners and today we're going to talk about the Ox Ultraflex trowel. It's a new trowel I've got, I'm going to give it a go. <laughs> And the first thing I've noticed straight away is that it's extremely light. It's so light and it's a, a lovely little trowel to hold actually. It's got a nice rubber handle. Obviously very clear that it's ox, like they all do. Lots of rivets, so I can assume it's going to be strong. And as I go, I've given it a few, uh, few test runs and it's feeling pretty good. It does need a bit of breaking in, I've noticed that straight away. But what I'm going to do is going to show you it now, whilst it's looking pretty clean. I'm going to give it a test run for a good month. Now I'm going to recall back when I've given it a proper run. I'm not going to tell you now how good it is because to be honest I need to give it a good month run before I decide how well this trial performs. So let me go off for a bit. You can see it now. Hopefully when you come back it'll be looking a bit grubbier, a bit worn. Right, I'll be back. See you in a bit. Okay, this is the Ox Ultra Flex. I've been on this for a month now, and I must say it's a cracking trowel. It's ideal for the final stages of plastering, and it really does do a nice finish. What I've found with this trowel, it's extremely light. It's really, really light to the hand, and it does leave a superb finish. When you're using it, there's no pull. It just glides across the wall. And it really does make plastering an easy, easy game to follow. It's good on internal corners. I don't really need a twitcher, I don't need a corner trial for this. It's ideal for getting that nice crisp finish. And the nice rounded edges, they really do help in making sure that you're not gonna dig in, you're not gonna cause any troubles. And it is just an all round great trial to use. What I have found, again, it's the lack of fatigue when using this trowel. It's just a handle, it's perfectly designed, it's perfect size for the hand. I found a Rafina Superflex, the handle was slightly thicker. It's a lot more pressure on your forearm. This has got a nice handle, perfect size and a good grip as well. I found with a notched in ox on the side, it does allow for a nice grip hold for the hand. And all around great trowel. What I will say about this, I did have to break it in a little bit. When I first started using it, I found that the edges would dig into the plaster. Um, that's gone now. I've been using it, like I said, for about a month. I found it's twisted out a little bit. That's the only thing I would say about this trial. At the beginning, it does take a bit of time to break it in properly. But once you get past that stage, it really is a nice trial to use. Okay, so let's talk about the differences between the Ox and my old favourite flexi trial, which is the Rafina. This is a Rafina Super Flex 2. This is an unbelievable trial. This is 16 inch, so it's obviously a slightly different gauge, because this is 14. What we're going to do is just discuss the differences between the two, and I'm using this as a comparable because this was my go to, and it might still be. I'll let you, I'll tell you that in a minute. But so this has got a quite a medium flex, it's a bit stiffer than the other one, but I must say this has probably got the same standard. This has got a slightly, slightly more flex to it, which is nice. But the big thing I want to talk about is the handle. This made a whole world of difference to me. The Rafina is slightly thicker than this. And I might be thinking, so what, does it make a big difference? actually does. I found the thinner handle to be a lot more comfortable when I'm plastering, which is something I discussed, which is something I said. But I also found that it's pretty much the same fitness as the Marshall Town handle on their normal trowels, which are well regarded, one of the best trowels in uh, for plasterers. So the handle for me made a whole world of difference. In terms of performance, this is an unbelievable trowel. But so out of the bag, the only thing we can compare to is the way it feels when we're using it. This just felt a lot easier on the joints, probably because of the amount of pressure you're holding. It's like holding an Olympic bar compared to a normal bar, say if you're weightlifting. It just, it was only 
minimal, but even holding it now, it feels a bit chunky in the hand, the Rafina Superflex does. It just feels like you're gripping onto more. It feels a bit more of a struggle where this, due to the handle, just feels a lot easier. So that's why this is the easier option to use if you're plastering. And in terms of performance, at the moment, they're pretty much equal. Like I said, this is starting to fade, but I've had it for a long time. And you know, you can tell by the look of it, it's starting to look a bit worn down. And do you know, I could probably maintain it a bit more. So in terms of performance, this is probably still the one, but it's just a handle. Once I've used this, and now I have used it, I don't know if I want to go back, which is the thing. This just feels a lot easier to use, which is what it's all about in it. And in terms of the finish, it's pretty much the same. That we can't really complain. I think a flexi trial is a flexi trial. It's just the hold of it. So now the other thing I want to talk about is the ox and its relation to the nailer counterpart. So apparently the Ox, Ox Ultra Flex is apparently the exact same trowel as the Nailer Super Flex. Now, I've done a little bit of research into it and here's a picture of the Ox one. Here's what it looks like actually, I'll just show you in the camera. Fine, you've got your guard running all the way to the edge of the blade. Very fine, a lot thinner than the, Super, the Rafina Super Flex as well. If you look, it's actually a lot thinner than that one. So I got a picture comparison of the Nailer Superflex, and I must admit, this picture here looks the exact same as the Ultra Flex. It looks like the exact same trial. So the question is, are they made by the same company? Is it the same results? And basically, is it the same trial? Looking at it, it looks like it is, yeah. And the Nailer Superflex has got a highly claimed trial, but it's a lot more expensive. But here's a crack. It looks like Nailer have actually stopped making that trial now which I don't know why, I don't know what the case is, they brought out the Superflex 2, which looks the exact same as the account part, but the, the guard on the Superflex 2 is slightly different. But what is my point with saying all this? My point is, basically, the nailer trials are expensive. They are. They are very good, they're very good to use, but they are very expensive. And here's the thing I found with the Ox Ultra Flex, which again, kind of beats everything else, is the price. I've got an Amazon quote up here. This was today. It's the 1st of October when I'm filming this, as I'm filming this right now. And it got the price of £29. £29 for Flexi Trial, that's cheaper than the Rafina Super Flex. That's cheaper than any Nailer Flex Trials. And pretty much, that seems like, for the top three, the cheapest Flexi Trial going. I mean, Marshalltown Flexi Trials, they're about £800, I don't know, but they're very expensive. They're about 60 quid, aren't they? So, to get an Ox Ultra Trial, which is kind of going to be the same as a Nailer Super Flex Trial, you've got a bit of a bargain, haven't you? And I must admit, for the way it performs, the way it uses, and the way it works, this is a very good trial. And for the price, this kind of makes it a very good investment. Even if you didn't like it, for £29, you know, it's worth trying. So with that alone, with the way it feels, with the lightness of it, with the way it works, and generally the, the spec in being, if it's not the same as the Nailer Suplex, being very close, I think you've got a very good bargain for £29 for a trial like this that's on the market. So my overall outcome is I'm going to keep using this trial. I'm going to actually keep it up. I've actually replaced it for now for the Rafina Superflex. I'm not tied in to Ox at all. I mean, I know I've got a lot of the tools. They do send me stuff. I must admit this was free. But that doesn't mean I'm tied into them. I ain't got any providence to them. I actually just use the tools I like. Uh, and I still do use a lot of Rafina. And obviously the main trial is the Marshall Town. But for now, I will be working on this. And I'll be using it. A lot more, I think. So I'm going to keep it up, and if anything happens, I'll let you know. But for now, I must review ending. This is a very good trial, and for the price, a very good trial to invest in. Again, compared to the Rafina Superflex, there's not much in it, but this does 
have the, the advantage. So that's the end of the review. This is Blaine Gray, Plaster of Beginners. If you like this video, please subscribe and um, obviously leave your comments below. Let us know what you think in terms of travels. Is it the counter park, the nailer suit flex? And let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.